Hey, what's up everybody? It's I, Ronin, and I am tired of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, so I'm playing Undertale! To tell you the truth, I have never actually played Undertale, I've seen a lot about it, so I do know more or less what's coming up, but I just want to try it out, play it for myself, and we're doing a pacifist run, so that should be fun. And there's Flowey. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hehehe. <laughs> Why would you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Oh yeah, if I had to reset my game because, uh... Yeah, things were weird with my recording stuff. So yeah, we're here now and we reset the game and now Flowey knows this. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. So yeah, now we're here. Uh so yeah, we're in love. So yeah, I guess this just resets to how it was originally. So friendliness pellets. Fun fact. They're actually bullets. So, yeah, okay. So I guess it just sort of defaults to how it was originally. So yeah, this is a... Is this a joke? Are your brain dead? Run into the bullets. The friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? Oh. There's a... Update. It should go away in a second. You just want to see me suffer. Die. Okay, yeah. Hey, we got stopped. And here's Goat Mom, a tutorial. What a terrible creature, torturing such poor innocent cell. Yeah, I'm not good at voices. I need to work on it. People, give me voice help. And real fast, I'll be right back. Gonna get rid of this update. Hey, we're back. So, yeah, I got rid of the update. It was weird. So, are you afraid, child? I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Goat Mom! Yeah, Goat Mom's awesome. So, first you've been coming here a long time. Alright, cool. I will. Sure, lead me. Show the way. Goat mom. Alright, go ahead and save. Alright, save. There we go. We should be good here. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. So now we get to see puzzles. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. Okay. One must solve them move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. No problem. Alright, to make progress you need to learn to reel several switches. Okay, so yeah. Again, I have done this before, so I can probably just blow right through this. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh Alright, she is proud of us. I'm proud of us. We did it. We're awesome. Okay, and now we get introduced to combat, which is kinda awesome in this game. Combat is very fun. So, strike up friendly conversation. Stall for time. I'll come to resolve the conflict. Yay! So now we get to fight a dummy. Act. Dummy. Talk to it. You talk to the dummy. Great conversation. And Toriel's happy with us. That's always good. Ah, very good. You are very good. We are very good. We are the best. So there's a puzzle. In the very hard mode, I am pretty sure that... Okay, Froggit, we're complimenting you. You are wonderful. So yeah, Toriel game. Knocked it away. 
So I'm actually thinking of trying very hard mode on this. Uh, this is actually my first time playing Undertale. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. And can't move past here. Okay, what's up, Toriel? This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Oh yeah, she guides us through this one, but the actual puzzle was to uh, follow the path pattern in the previous room. And that's the puzzle. So, yay. Seem a little too dangerous for now. You've done excellently thus far. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. You know what? I don't want to talk going through this hallway just to admire this music. It's awesome. Like, seriously, just take a second to listen to this music. Yeah, like, see, that, mu that music's really awesome. I like all the music in this game. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. Thank you for trusting me. I do trust you, Toriel. You're great. However, there, are some, there was an important reason for this exercise. Ooh, what might that be? To test your independence. Ooh. Well, okay. I feel like there are better tests of that, but... Whatever floats your boat, I guess. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Nice! Thanks, Goat Mom! If you have a need for anything, just call. Alright, I'll be good. Now we're going to explore. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Actually, I did. There are a few puzzle heads that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous if I solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Well, we're going to solve them ourselves right after we save. Enter. Fills you with determination. HP is full. Save it. And now we take all the candy because we are doing pacifists. If we get hit, we need to be able to heal. And in general. Take more candy. It's gross, but it's a healing item. Yeah, we might be scum, but we're healthy scum. Yeah, and the candy fell over. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, it's like a... You don't not take from the take one thing on Halloween. It's like... You take the full bowl. That's kind of the rule. Oh, our first encounter, it's a froggit. Alright. This guy, you compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway, as you should be. Now we just gotta dodge around all his stuff. Now we can do mercy. Yeah, each enemy, uh, if I understand correctly, there's a non-combat way around every enemy. Like, let me know if that's the case, because I do like that feature. Froggit. Again, we know the we know the formula. All right, so does the fly thing, right? Yep. And oh, yeah, we didn't get hit. Spare him. Oh, and now we gotta push rocks. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Yes, it is. He he he. I had a feeling. When you humans fall down here, strangely, I, I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Well, that's cool. Since I restarted the game, it actually does that. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch. No, I like all foods. I know what your preference is, but as you know, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? No! 
You never turn down good food, okay? If it's good food, you enjoy it. But I do appreciate her asking. Toriel is great goat mom. Frog it. Frog it. We compliment him. Let's see. Now is it going to be the flies? Oh nope, it's the normal frog. Mercy spare. Yay. Easy does it. Nicest man in man or woman in the ruins. That is what we are. And what we aspire to be. So this one, I believe the path is like this. There we go. Now we gotta push all the rocks. You tripped into a line of mold slums. <laughs> oh, apparently I can just mercy spare all of them. Well, okay, I need. So I figured out that when it's uh, yellow, that's when you can spare them. Alright, this rock is giving me sass. Okay, don't call me- why'd you call me that? That's- That's- I don't know if that's mean or not. Just- I hate this rock. Like, I understand it's quirky and fun, but this rock is- When you have to do this a few times, this rock is kind of annoying. There we go, save point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. <laughs> Fills you with determination. Save. Cool. Nablaboosk. I love Nablaboosk. He's fun. Are they gone yet? Nope. This ghost keeps saying this out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Now we act. Nablaboosk. It's like free cheers and a flirt. It's like hit cheer every time I think and these tears are annoying ow ow yeah I am no good at the combat portion of this game I'm not going to lie <laughs> I told Nablabusk a little joke really not feeling it right now sorry okay fair enough take your time Nablabusk you know don't want you to feel rushed. He wants to show us something. What are you going to show us? I call it Dapper Baluk. That is pretty dapper. And I love it. I absolutely love it, Nablabusk. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's no one around. But today, I met somebody nice. Aw, oh, thanks, Nablabusk. Oh. I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you, Nablaboosk. I hope you have a great day. Now we get a spider donut, because it's plot important. Yes. Dang it, I didn't have enough gold? Alright, so I need another encounter. Then I can probably earn some gold and go get that spidey donut. <laughs> I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. <coughs> I was not expecting company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Alright. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pocket for that. Okay, cool. Dang, we need an encounter. I think we can mercy one of them already. Okay, so the Moltzons we can just say no to. Oh, it's the dancing bug! Oh, dang, that bug. Dan breaks it down. You won, you're in two gold. Now, we can afford a spider donut, which is important later, I think. Alright, so now we have seven gold in the web. Gave you a donut. Now, real fast, just to be safe, we are going to go and save again. Because game overs can happen, because I am bad at the combat portion of this. Saved it. There we go. Now we are going to keep going. Woo! We're almost at the end of the ruins, I think, actually. 
zoom in right on through. We go into this one. And then we hit this. And we're good. Encounter. Alright, easy does it. Swing your arms, baby. Oh, a funky bug. I like that funky bug. There we go. And we will not be getting weapons here, actually. So we hit the one behind here. Yeah, no weapons for this run. Alright. Now we go over to the red switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a... Okay, so these guys are actually kind of interesting. You, s you have to talk to them about dinner. And then you have to catch their green fruit that they let... Their green food that they let down. And there we go. Then he is good to go. Act. We talk to Vegetoid B. About dinner. And now we try to catch his healthy meal. There we go. And now we can do this. There. Easy moves. Easy moves, boys. Alright. Uh, now we gotta hit the one far back. For Luke's, you don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Ow. Let's see, can we spare? Yes, we can. Nice. Pretty simple. It's a switch. Press it. Yeah. Alright. And that's the almost end of the ruins. Uh, the toy knife is over there. We're not going to go and get it because pacifist run. We don't need no weapons here. Nicest mans in the ruins. How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Kind of. I had a healthy meal, though, at least. Shouldn't have left me alone for so long. Eh, I was fine. Try to surprise you like this. Okay. What's the surprise? Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Alright. Yeah. We're gonna meet up with Goat Mom. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. It is a nice house. Alright. Now, it's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Five, I celebrate your arrival. Oh, thanks, Toriel. You're great. I want you to have a nice time living here. Well, I appreciate that. I really do. So, I will hold off on snail pie for night. Okay, thanks. I guess she likes snails. Okay, then. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, really? Awesome! This is it. A room of your own. Aw, wow. Aw. Toriel, you are great. Is something burning? I'm <laughs> making yourself at home. Okay. So yeah, now we come in here and we slip. Ah, now we get up. Pick up the pie. It is important. For later. Ah. This is pleasant. This is a pleasant area of the game. Up already, I see. Yeah. Not that tired. Uh, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. Aw, thank you, Toriel. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. That sounds pleasant. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Wow. Like, right now, or did you have this ready for a while? Because I'm not sure. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. No, it isn't. You got the... You got the vibe, Toriel. You got the vibe. STILL! It's pronounced still. I'm glad to have you living here. Well, I am glad to be here, but I really need to be going home. When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's a book called 72 Years of Sales. I actually kind of do. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um. 
How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes slit their digestive systems as they mature? That is an exciting snail fact, actually. That's that's really something. Not even gonna lie, that is a bit wild. Interesting. Again, how to exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. So yeah, now we follow Toriel down the steps. Up the ah, all right. Into the basement, where we will encounter Toriel and talk to her. She, you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. Yay! I kind of want to go there. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground, which will lead me home, which will be good. Yeah, yeah. Sounds solid. Can you take me? I'm going to destroy it. Oh! Okay, then. No one will ever be able to leave again. Um... That's a no-go for me. Now, be a good challenge. Well, I really can't now. I, I need to go home. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. Okay, so Toriel's just concerned for our well-being, I would assume. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Um, still not digging it. Not even gonna lie. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Um, I kinda have to try to stop you. And I know exactly how, because I've done this fight before. You're just like the others. This is only one solution. This. Prove yourself... Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Okay. And now for this one, we just hit spare lots. And we can go down healthier because she will actually never kill us. So watch, we're going to sit here and be fine. Like, see, it only took one HP that time. And it's going around us. Or it didn't. Spare. And now it's just not touching us. Like, I've kind of wanted to test if you actually can die tutorial, because I don't know. Well, actually, we are still at 2 HP, so I think we can test it. Well, we actually go down to 1 first. Oh, no way, they actually move away from you. That's neat. Wow, so it's... Kind of impossible to die to Toriel, I guess. Weird. Toriel looks for you. Fight me or leave. No, I don't want to fight you. I'm doing a pacifist run and you're an awesome goat mom. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Sp stop it. No, I won't stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. Looks through you. Okay. Stop looking at me. I'm not sure how I'm looking at you. It's, it feels kind of like the character in this game always just has a thousand yard stare going on, you know? Like, no real emotion. I guess the point of that was to try to put you in the face of it, but I don't know. I kind of like it when the character shows an emotion. Toriel is still acting aloof. We spare again. We're not dying, though. I have a feeling that we're good. I know you want to go home, but... Spare. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... Like, I feel very sad about saying no to her on this, honestly. Like, it's well done. We can have a good life here. Oh. We could. Why are you making this so difficult? Because... I don't know. You're, it's weird. I need to progress the game. Please, go upstairs. Ah, just let this go. You're making me sad. Haha. -ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Oh, you're not pathetic. That's just wrong. Like, 
it, that that's not true. Like, y you gotta know. You're good. No, I understand. Like, good. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. I mean, I would be unhappy. I just need to, like, get going. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. Yeah, I could see that. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. Oh. Now I feel bad, like, either way in this fight. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. Like, <sighs> she, she can have friends and stuff. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. Oh. Dang it. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. I I actually don't understand that part. I might want to visit sometimes. You're you're great. Goodbye, my child. Aw, bye, Toriel. I'm gonna miss you. Well, I guess I'll see you in the finale of the game because we're doing a pacifist run, but still. It sucks. Oh, but. Anyways, that was the ruin, so let's go ahead and just get to the next save point, and I think we can call it an episode there. It's Flowey again. Clever. Very clever. I wonder if the audio, the dialogue is going to change because I reset. You think you're really smart, don't you? I mean, a little bit. Yeah, I, I knew the game well enough to know that she wouldn't actually kill me. In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you are able to play by your own rules. I wouldn't say it's kill or be killed. I feel like you think it's kill or be killed, but I don't think anyone else thinks that. You spared the life of a single person. I think... You know what? I think that's a good thing. I think that's admirable. He he he. I bet you feel really great. A little bit. Yeah, I do. You're just a dumb flower, so... You didn't kill anybody this time. No, I didn't, because I don't want to, and I'm not going to. But what will you do if you meet a role this killer? I don't know, I'll run away, I guess. Fleeing is an option, you know. You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. Um, maybe. Maybe. But that's fine. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? No, I will not, Flowey. You're just... You're just mean. Or will you give up entirely on this world? I mean, I might once I beat this game, but not right now. And let me inherit the power to control it. No. I am the pro the prince of this world's future. No, you're just a dumb flower. Oh. Yeah, you are just a dumb flower. Why would you do anything significant outside of ruin kids' dreams of flowers? Don't worry, my little monarch, my plan isn't regicide. That's like the murder of a king. So he's not planning on murdering the king. Okay. This is so much more interesting. Interesting. How? And that's actually kind of creepy, because... That is a face. That right there, that is a face. But let's just move on. In to Undertale by Toby Fox. Woo! Into the actual game. Finally past the intro. Uh, yeah, here we're just going to get to the next save point and we'll be good. So we're Yeah, this area is kinda interesting. Like there's the stick. Whoa. Okay. Who broke that stick? Did I break that stick? I don't think I broke that stick. Let's keep going. Eyes in the back of your head, bud. Whoa. Where are you? Okay, I'm watching though, like a hawk. Who are you? Okay, so now we are 
Oh, we're actually not. Alright, now we're locked. Cutscene time, kind of. And here comes the most memed character on the internet. Human. Who is it? Oh, we're just shaking hands. One of the dialogue changes. Heh, <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before something? Actually, yes, I have, because I reset the game. I love how the dialogue changes. You turned around before I said said to weird. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Whatever. You're a human, right? I am a human. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. Then why? Well, I am here. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Well. That's. Hey, I guess you're risking your job, so. That's your fault. Now, my brother, Papyrus. That guy. He's a human hunting fanatic. Okay, then. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. That I don't believe this is a gate. Like, it just looks like pillars with a thing on top. That doesn't make a gate. It's just... It's just pillars. It's decorative at best. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It is quite convenient. Sup, bro? Yeah, I can't, I can't do a good papyrus voice. I'm not even going to lie to you right now. I'm not good at voices in general. If someone can give me voice tips, that'd be great. So, you know what's up, brother? It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. Puzzles. That is a interesting method of capturing people. You just hang around outside your station. Like... I mean, that's kind of his job. He's not necessarily doing anything wrong. He's just not being proactive. But what are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's real cool. Wanna look? I mean... <laughs> I don't have time for that. I don't know why this lands. What if a human comes through here? Well, a human is here, actually. If you must know. I want to be ready. Like... I like this. Sans is like your co-worker who does like what they're told but they don't really try that hard. And then Papyrus, he's like, he's out there doing extra, making sure everybody's on task. I appreciate Papyrus a little bit more than Sans, I think. I will be the one. I must be the one. The one to what? I'll, he'll capture a human, then he will get all the things he utterly deserves. What do you utterly deserve, Papyrus? Respect, recognition, finally be able to join the Royal Guard, and people ask to be his friend. Okay, I like that. He just, he wants friends. He wants to be, you know, successful in his chosen line of work. All of that is pretty respectable, I think. Go you, Papyrus. I hope you succeed in your dreams. He'll bathe in about in a shower of kisses every morning. Now that is interesting. That is not what I expected. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. This lamp will help you, Papyrus, because you are awesome. Sans, you're not helping you lazy bones. Wow. Getting up with that wordplay. All you do is sit around and boondoggle. Boondoggle. I need to look up that word. I don't know what that word is. If someone in the comments knows what that word is, let me know, because I am curious. You get lazier and lazier every day. Okay, I see why you are upset. You know, you're working hard. Sans isn't working hard, really. So, you know, it makes sense as someone who takes their job seriously for you. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. All right. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. A skeleton. Boom! Puns. Skeleton puns. They're great. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. I love that. I don't know why I love that so much, but I just do. That's the best. 
Huh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? I don't know, man. Honestly, it feels like you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time a lot of the time. Oh, wait. You ready for it? Here it comes again. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Mmm, that wordplay. Ugh, I will attend to my puzzles. Uh, go, go you. Put a little more backbone. Oh, he doesn't get a zoom in animation, I don't think. Oh, no zoom in. All right, I got, I, I'll give you an mm, mm, wordplay. All right, so. Heh. <laughs> nice. Okay, you can come out now. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and talk to Sans. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I like that. I liked your jokes. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, Sans. It really does. I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. Yeah, he did seem upset. A little high strung, stressed out. Makes sense that you'd be concerned. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Like, yeah, sure, I can show up, be his, just hang out for a while. Wouldn't be the worst thing. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. I imagine he's not. He seems like a pretty alright guy. Even if he tries to be. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Alright. And there is our save point. So we save. The convenience of that lamp still fills your determination. Save. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna call that an episode one of this pacifist run. Let me know what you guys think of Undertale. Do you think I'm playing correctly, incorrectly? And I know this game can breed a lot of uh, toxicity, so I'm just gonna ask that keep that to a minimum if you can. I know that some people are going to be upset about something. Can't stop that. But if you are, just be calm about it, please. Don't ruin it for everybody else. But yeah, anyways, this is like, comment, subscribe. This has been Ronin, signing off.